friends and family. It's Sabrina and Derek here, obviously. Um, you're probably wondering why we haven't put a video out in a long time. <laughs> Some people probably didn't even notice, honestly, but yeah. uh, we have not put a video out since uh, week 18 yep. of my pregnancy, and today is actually week 24. <laughs> yeah. So we apologize. It's been six weeks. Um, obviously, you can tell by our surroundings that we're not at home, <laughs> um, but... The reason why we didn't put an update out is because there were some uh, things that had kind of showed up on our 19-week sono, yep. and um, we decided that it would be wise if we kind of just took some time and processed it through our own emotions and our own minds and our faith and everything um, before we just started telling everybody about what was going on. Right. Um, honestly, it was probably one of the hardest two weeks that we had went through. Um, yeah. Even though our faith is strong and we truly believe that God's with us and that everything's okay, um, it was things were just more of a shock because yeah. we expected everything to go perfect, as does everybody. Um, right. But we had found out on our 19 week sonogram, and we had done some videos and shots of us in the hospital or in the. Um, at a fetal specialist and stuff like that, but right. I don't even know if we have time right now to go back and edit those videos and put those things together, but we honestly just wanted to get this video out um, as an update for all of our friends and family who may be wondering what's going on um, because uh, we haven't had anything out and I've recently had a lot of people asking us what's going on and if everything was okay with me and the baby. Um, so anyways, on that 19 week sonogram, uh, we had left uh, thinking everything was fine, yeah. and then about, we'd never seen one before, so <clears throat> yeah, our first, <laughs> <clears throat> our first pregnancy, and so um, after we had left, a couple hours after we left, um, my midwife had called and said that they had solved some concerns on the sonogram that uh, baby was measuring a couple weeks behind at least, yeah. and that I was ha that I had extremely low amniotic fluid, and. To me, I didn't really know what that meant, but we knew right away, uh, just by kind of the concern in her voice, that we that it wasn't exactly good, and that she had suggested we go and see a fetal specialist right away. And so that we had that sauna on the Friday, and then that Monday we ended up seeing a fetal specialist right away. Right. And then, sure enough, she had confirmed everything that was on that first sonogram that we had um, extremely low amniotic <clears throat> fluid which um, in their terms is not good for um, the baby because that's what they use to practice their breathing and their swallowing and to help develop their lungs. Um, and so we had did some things that first week uh, after that fetal specialist to try to see if we could get some more amniotic fluid in there. Uh, they had determined that his kidneys were working perfectly, yeah. so we very, very thankful for that, yes. that his his organs, everything seems to be working appropriately and great, and we praise the Lord for that. Um, but after that first week, and we had went back to that same fetal specialist, no extra fluid had ended up going mm. into my amniotic sac. Um, so just like I said, those first couple weeks were very, very difficult for us trying to figure out what was going to happen, and every single day was a fight, and yeah. trusting God, trusting God that he is a promise and that we're going to get through this and that he has this baby in his hands. Mm -hmm. um, were we going to tell the name? <laughs> we had totally planned on putting out like a name video for you guys. Yeah. And um, I think we can just post that later. Post the, the name video later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay so we just discussed it. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to figure out how we wanted to, to tell his name. Most everybody who knows what's going on with their situation already knows his name, so it's really not that big of a deal. His name is Truman John, and Truman means man of truth or faithful man, and John means Yahweh is gracious. So there's a whole story behind that. God actually gave Derek the name, yeah. um, but we really love it. It took a while for me to get used to it at yes, first. It did. <laughs> but we've been calling him True Truman. So that's his name. So you all can be using his name to pray for him. Anyways, so we we got past those first couple weeks, I think, and really built our faith up and, and knew, you know, that even though things with our own visible eye 
didn't look how we wanted them to go, that God was the one that was sustaining mm -hmm. him. And so uh, we planned on putting another update video out and things just kind of got a little bit tougher with yeah. trying to take care of me and making sure that I was getting the rest that I needed and not being up on my feet. He was, Derek was being such a trooper, actually like driving me to work and I literally work right down the street from the house. So, yeah. um, then, uh, unexpectedly we had a situation last week. Um, today is Sunday, so I don't know if we'll get this video posted today or tomorrow, but a week, a week ago, uh, we ended up, uh, seeing a lot more fluid end up coming out of my amniotic sac and we rushed to the ER and it was confirmed that my water had officially broke and so they admitted me right away. So that's the update as of right now mm -hmm. is that um, we have to be admitted 100% um, of the time. I can't yeah. go home until this boy is born and the goal right now is to get him to 34 weeks. Um, we are praying and believing that it will, will be longer, but the goal right now is that we get him to 34 weeks. And right now I said it's 24 weeks, so we've made it a whole extra week being in the hospital. Yeah. We're very, very thankful for that. We yes. haven't second-guessed that at all. I no, mean, the doctors were really expecting that we were going to have, she was going to go into labor at some point closely yeah. after or, or within the first week. They said it always happens within the first week. Well, it's been the first week. Yeah. And we're here. So we're, we're, I mean, obviously negative things are being said and mm -hmm. things that we don't want to hear, but we choose, our beliefs are that we choose the report of the Lord. We believe that God has the first word and he has the last word. And that's all we need to hear. That's all we yep. need to know um, is what God says about this pregnancy and what God says about our son. Yep. And so... I've said so 50 million times because I'm trying to figure out how to say everything. <laughs> but that is the plan right now. We are taking everything one day at a time. Uh, our spirits are good. Our spirits are high. It does suck that we <laughs> have to be in here, but I never thought we'd say we pray and hope to be in the hospital longer, but yeah. we do. I can leave. <sighs> I just don't want to. <laughs> no, he's been with me the whole time. He's been so awesome staying here every single night and uh, some of you guys do know what's going on and we appreciate everybody for their love their concern their encouragement their prayers their fight yes. like we are so overwhelmed like I'm not yes. even gonna get into that because then I'll just break down <laughs> yeah but um, we wanted to let those of you who have been kind of prodding at us and wanting to know what was going on what was going on with us um, if you live in the Kansas City area yes we are open to visitors but Obviously, now that we're putting this video out, a lot more people will know, so please don't just find out where we are and show yeah. up. <laughs> yes, we're not going to say where we are. Uh, so, <laughs> One year, um, so, do you have anything else to add? Uh, just to second that we're really thankful for all the love and support, the prayers, the encouraging messages. Uh, it really helps us to, to keep our minds in the, in the right path, because uh, there are other voices that try to get in and... and try to speak to us and things of fear and those types of things, but we just, we don't allow those. We don't listen to those. Uh, as a protective husband, if you try to bring those, you'll be cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with all the love in the world, but seriously, you will be. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, messages, prayers, we've, we've had people bringing us food, we had, we've had snacks, gifts, great things to help us just stay, uh, have good morale. Um, and that's really helped us a lot. It doesn't mean we don't have some down moments, but they've been very minimal and very short um, with those two. So we're very encouraged. Um, all of you that uh, care and love for us, you be encouraged too. This is really going to be something that is going to be a testimony that we wanted to capture it now because we want to see, we want to show what it's like to go through something like this uh, and have the victory on the other side. Right. You know, whatever happens here, God is on his throne. He is. he is always good. He's always good. Uh, he has our back and he has yours too. And so we're just uh, here for uh, 10 more weeks from today. Yeah. Well, this is Sunday. So we want his birthday to be June 4th, which that would be the 34 week day. So. Yeah. And to reassure all of you, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. I don't have any pain. Nothing's mm -hmm. wrong. That's the weirdest thing is that I'm having to be laid up and. 
I'm not sick, you know. Yeah. But it's just a precautionary to make sure that both him and I are, are safe and that um, <clears throat> we're constantly being being monitored. So I'm very, very thankful for yeah. um, hospital staff and for what's been provided for us, what's so close to our home. We're very thankful for that. And yeah. um, I guess that's it. That's it. So we love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being concerned about us and for asking and checking in on us. Yeah. Uh, we will try to do more updates, but um, not making any promises. <laughs> uh, and we uh, hope to talk to you guys soon. We love you, and talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.